What's up my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach. Five out of five and breaking. This just happened about an hour ago. The uh, bill passes in the house to prevent the Federal Reserve from issuing a central bank digital currency. I cannot believe how fast, how much legislation is going through this week. Unbelievable uh, to see that happening. Not a minute too soon, if you ask me. And currently we have the Fear and Greed Index today. It's on greed of 76. Bring it on. And also just a reminder, proper party here on Venice Island for XRP 007. April 29, 2025. Tickets $250 person for 500 guests. Highlight is a fundraiser for our vets. So get the tickets when you're feeling it. Those links are in the description how to do that if you're ready to hop aboard. Uh, not me, not at 50 cents, but at a buck, a buck 50. We see some FOMO action in this space. Actually, just when FOMO takes off, because you know it's about to rip. All right, thank you as always, as we are at 12.2s. 12,200 subscribers. Uh, love each and every one of you. You guys just gratitude, gratitude. There we go. And also, uh, so let's see if we can't make it to 15,000. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for. What is today? A Thursday? The weekend is almost here. And in the comments, uh, let's see, Dark Star says, can always count on Rob for hopium. Thank you. Uh, you're quite welcome. I, I need it for myself, quite frankly. That's one of the reasons why I do it. It's like I just don't know if I could just, you know, just keep on keeping on uh, if I didn't find one little nugget that keeps me hoping that you know, tomorrow we turn the page. And also in the comments, uh, Saliki Duke. Siliki Duke, something like that, says, Rob, thank you for all the hard work that you do. Thank you so much. It makes it well well worth it and uh, makes my heart smile hearing that. And also in the comments, JR says, hello from the great state of Texas. Uh, if I didn't live here, I'd live there. Uh, and, and also, this is absolutely huge. This could actually happen within the next 45 minutes. Uh, we'll see if I have my video posted and uploaded about then. It'll be kind of cutting it close, but it should be right around that time that I have this video uploaded uh, to the internet. But uh, do we get an uh, ETH ETF decision in our favor? Uh, could happen. The announcement should happen. And that announcement should show up around maybe, maybe right about now that we should be getting that, if not 4 p.m. Uh, and I think the percentage chance is that, yes, we get it. And if we get it, Say hello to an incredible start of an alt season that will kick off alt season in fine set of fashion. And as DIY uh, mentioned yesterday, it begins a super cycle. So start to see great money, new money inflows. And that's really what this market needs. And that's really what's going to just drive up the price of XRP. King XRP says uh, on Twitter says, um, take this one with a grain of salt, by the way. Eight days left until XRP surges too. Wait for it. He says $102.49. Oh, correction, 47 cents. I won't hold my breath on this dude, but he says that will happen actually due to a settlement and an XRP ETF approval. These two things could just actually do marvels and work wonders on the price of XRP. Would it get to three digits? I don't know about that, but that's what King XRP thinks on this afternoon. So take that one with a grain of salt. Brad Garlinghouse says, uh, up on Twitter says stunning hypocrisy uh, says uh, the person who um, cozied up to the biggest fraud that would be FTX and Sam Bankman fraud uh, is also uh, <laughs> aka that's Gary Gensler aka ugly fish is uh, now turning into a liability for the Democrats and yes uh, the Dems did switch lanes uh, 71 moved over uh, in the lanes and voted for that bill that passed yesterday and also the one that passed today. So that's really exciting stuff to see. A news flash. Uh, oh yeah, this is speaking of that in Dems. Here's a news flash for you. If you didn't know, on the record here it's saying you're gonna be rich. You wanna know why? Because Nancy Pelosi voted for the bill uh, for the last couple of ones. That's why if there ever was, and this is not a political thing, don't go jumping down a rabbit hole. Both sides of the aisle do this to line their pockets. But one has lined it more than anybody I know. I think that would be Nancy Pelosi. Just look at her net worth over her career. 
say that she's got insider trading is an understatement and they allow that to happen so anyway but uh, she's all for it so newsflash you're gonna be really really rich so uh, probably will happen here in 2024 if not by the end of Q2 in the news Bitcoin magazine says uh, standard charter expects Bitcoin to hit all-time high by this weekend that's pretty exciting stuff. So, uh, yes, bullish on the market. Let's see that happen. XRP uh, Impress says uh, her 401k up on Fidelity. Uh, she's asking, why does it say where it has the 21 shares XRP ETP? $14.78. Things that make you go, hmm, anybody can help her out, comment down below. In the Riddler section, Bearable Guy, by the way, said one, two, three. Bearable Guy, one, two, three, says May 22nd. Is it time? That's a tweet he did way back in 2017. Well, it happens that yesterday, indeed, on May 22nd, regulations came in yesterday. That first little uh, second wave, whatever. We've got a couple of them passed. Charlie Ward, this is fantastic. We seem to wind down this episode already. This is Charlie Ward, a really great individual to follow up on Twitter. It says, uh, 2025, this is what some of his predictions, mark them down, he, end of 20, he says by 2025 or in 2025 that, that the Euro will end and cease to exist and it will be replaced by uh, going back to individual coins uh, for the nations that are involved uh, there. And it's going to establish a equal playing field that is a one-to-one -one ratio there won't be any kind of like discrepancy from the japanese dollar to the yen and stuff like that so where you lose money it's be equal playing field i uh, love that so that's a little bit of quantum financial system talk for you and he anticipates this as well this is also fascinating he anticipates that apple iphone will go away why it's going to be replaced by the q phone uh, and that you will not need banks after that happens. And speaking of the Q phone, uh, don't forget the Quantum Financial Summit is June 8th and June 9th. Can't wait. That's just literally less than three weeks away. And then I will be the host on day one. And Molly Elmore is a rock star in this space. She's going to be host the following day. So anyway, look forward to meeting everybody that's going to be attending. It's going to be huge. Uh, yes, uh, both sides of the... Uh, uh, the trading world, the little TA down by the beach, this is from Block Bull, says he sees that in June that XRP reaches 75 cents to a dollar. No, that does not move my needle, but I'll share it anyway. So just one more insight. And Black Swan Capitalist uh, says that Bricks uh, wants to discard, this is from a video he had, it's not him pers personally speaking, but gentleman on the video says that Bricks wants to absolutely discard the U.S. dollar and not even use it. Uh, any, way, any which way they can. And also, along with that, he anticipates that the gold standard is coming back in full force with all of these nations, and hence why they have been hoarding gold, such as China and Russia and other countries as well. So that's what he sees. Uh, Jeff uh, Bosky, to kind of lighten up the thing uh, here on this episode, EDC Las Vegas. He was out in Las Vegas. Don't know who the gentleman is, but I do know he racked up a bar tab for 15 guests, which included the likes of like Absolute, Red Bull, etc., Ice. Uh, how much was that bar tap for 15 guests? Can you say $277,000 and $519? I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't care. Uh, no. Um, but I'd share. And then he was asking what he should tip. And that was the survey he was doing. So anyway, some people with money, right? And you can have all the money in the world, but not common sense. And others, you know, that's just like a little uh, drip in the bucket. It obviously is for him. XRP Gentleman says, so it begins. You know that Riddler guy that so it begins? Well, you ever notice how it is always so it begins year after year, month after month. So it begins, so it begins, so it begins. But you know what? Maybe it did begin. Maybe it does begin this week because we've got something for the first time that we haven't seen since we've been in this space, which is getting some clarity on digital assets in this country, setting down the foundation, which will work beautifully with XRP and XRP stable coins. So, so it begins. I can make an argument that so it begins. This week, crypto changes lanes and turns for the better. Uh, the best is yet to come. Coinbase, uh, let's see. Uh, this is also huge. Coins, Coinbase enabled XRP trading up in the state of New York. This is absolutely massive because 
Uh, there's a lot of money in New York and a lot of, a lot of big dollars, big dollars. Uh, New York, California, and Florida, some of the biggest with money that gets in front of have flowing around with the institutional investors up there. So they got to be biting at the chomp, biting at the bit to get in on this space. So yeah, expect some that to also just as we start to get more um, uh, exchanges, relisting XRP, stuff like that. That's just one example. And a uh, little TA down by the beach. This is from JD out in California. Shout out to you, brother. It says XRP MACD uh, has been below zero on the monthly charts for over one and a half years. That's a long drought, 18 months in that drought. He says once it crosses it, expect a massive, massive rally. Kind of like that. Best for last. This is from DAI. I like this a lot. Saw this up on Twitter. He asked uh, one of these AI things that are out there. Like, I'm not sure all of them. But he asked one of them. He says, uh, what would the price of XRP be with the XRP US stable coin, which is the RLUSD, if it kind of mimicked what uh, USDT Tether did for Bitcoin? It took him a while to get an answer out of the fella or gal, whichever gender the AI is. I don't know, but he says, wait for it. The price that uh, the AI returned to him is, get this, $2,700. Are you kidding me? Holy cow, that is why zero doubt I am here for four and five digits. But make zero doubt as well, I will be taking some cream off the top this bull run as the XRP starts to hit certain fib targets. And yes, it's going to be oh so sweet cream too as well. Last but not least, this is from a second bite of the apple from a little TA down by the beach by one of my favorites I watch on a daily basis because it's my Rob's little dose of hopium that keeps me going. Cross my fingers, it's gonna happen this month. And this month's still not out, by the way, but this is for June. Anyway, XRP resurrected in his charts, kind of narrowing down. I'm just kind of going, it's the same thing, but he has, just to narrow it down, a $6 XRP hitting early in June. $6, and then once again, retrace. Back somewhere down around, that's just what I mentioned yesterday, but then end of June, he has it as a $26 dollar xrp oh oh be still my xrp heart that'll do it for me i hope everybody has a great day i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out